What is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Rocket Vlogs. We have a fun big box with a fun big project in here. But first, I'd like to tell you that this build and this whole video series is brought to you by our friends at Great Western Buildings and WildmanRocketry.com. If you happen to be in the market for a prefabricated steel building, check out GreatWesternBuildings.com. Even if you're not, check it out. They have some amazing projects that they've done, hangers, barn dominiums, all this cool stuff. The website link is in the description or you can just go to greatwesternbuildings.com and of course if you're in the market for a new rocket you know where to go wildmanrocketry.com the link is also in the description now in this box is the makings of my highest flight ever um without further ado i say we just start opening it yes it is a very big box for those not in the know i'm six foot three so this box is quite a large lad and uh it got delayed with UPS and the tape kind of looks like it's been opened and retaped. So hopefully everything's still in there. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. We're gonna first and foremost pull this guy out of here. We're probably gonna have to give it a good lean. Big tube. All right. Oh man, it's so light. Pause start, come feel that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I didn't realize the fins were two by two. Oh. That's sick. You probably can't see that, but I'll open them and show you guys here in a little bit. This is a three inch nose cone. It's for a separate project, but uh, yeah. More on that here in a bit. That is unrelated. Oh no. Literally the worst epoxy that I could have had a, a shipping incident with. Oh, oh, oh no, oh. I'm done, I'm done. If you've ever used ProLine 4500, you know that this black spot on my thumb is about to be here for another week. We're two for two lately on our epoxy. Yeah, reopened. yeah, our, like a quarter of our uh, gallon set hardener for our West systems was inside and outside the box when we got it. Actually, it came off pretty good. Wow, where's the tub of towel sponsorship when you need it, huh? It's not a sponsor, just a reminder. Great Western Buildings and WildmanRocketry.com. Kevlar, important. I'm not gonna throw that on the floor, actually. I don't want it to get dirty before it lands in dirt. Also unrelated. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Here we go. I know this is like a painstaking process here, but I promise you it's gonna pay off. Oh, you know what this is. Yeah, all right, we'll get back to that in a little bit. We're doing an unboxing before we finalize the unboxing. Kind of dig into the details of what all is going on here. Hmm, that's a suspiciously large motor liner. Isn't that interesting? I think it's pouring time. Oh yeah, okay. Box unboxed. This is a Wildman Falcon 98. Ultra high performance, minimum diameter four inch carbon fiber rocket kit. And uh, Great Western Buildings wanted to partner up and do uh, a hardcore flight for Alamosa NSL this year in May. And that is what we are going to do. This is, uh, like I just said, a four inch all carbon fiber minimum diameter rocket. And over there, now let's, let's unbox the second box. Actually first, I wanna, Take one of these fins out, because these are pretty. Not bad, the two by two twill carbon fiber fins. There is four of them. This fin shape is probably familiar to you. It's the same fin shape, uh, as far as I know, dimensions wise is the same as the ones you get in the Mach 2 and Mach 3 kits. But carbon fiber, to do everyone's favorite thing, add lightness basic parachute catch this pos tart you know we love our top flight shoots around here <laughs> and boom no max protector um yeah so filament wound oh it's so light we're gonna have to weigh this later but i'm going to use this kit to show you guys how to make your own rock sim file i see a lot of people asking for rock sim files for rockets that they own so i'm like well let's help these people out let's teach them how to do it um We'll worry about that later. We got another fun box to open. Here, Postar, because... <laughs> oh. 
Okay, let's address that suspiciously long liner, huh? In this package, to accommodate that suspiciously long liner, Aerotech 98 15360 motor. I think there should be a sealed disc in there too. Can't see it's all dark on account of it being a black tube. Is there something in here? Or are these cases just that heavy? Maybe I'm just like jaded from holding that huge piece of carbon fiber that weighs nothing. Should have opened the end that the thing seems to be at instead. Would make a lot more sense. We're gonna put some silicone spray on that here. Pasta has it. All right, initially this project, we were planning on flying it at Black Rock for balls. Um, but NSL is coming up and uh, we're, we're gonna cut it down and optimize it lengthwise a little bit more for that motor case. And we're flying it on an Aerotech N1000. Why? Because oh, it's a long burn. Long burns are cool and totally not because that's like the slowest end motor flight you could do and it's really full impulse for the case. And like, it's the slowest end motor flight that you could do. It's a very like high altitude motor and it's the slowest end motor flight you could do so that I can be like, look, I did no tip to tip. It's just fillets. The reality is it's only going like a little over Mach 2 and people have done far, far more than that with just fillets. But you know, like it's like the slowest minimum diameter end flight you could do. And uh, I wanted a slow flight to uh, increase the chances of success. If you're familiar with my recent minimum diameter attempts, they haven't been going great. In that light, let's talk about this nose cone for a second. This is, uh, this is a three inch nose cone. I have a CTI M1675 and I also just got an Aerotech 7680 case, a Rouse Tech one, actually a blue old one. Um, so before we take this beautiful carbon fiber sponsored project with hardware and a bunch of other stuff I didn't pay for and really, really have a chance of putting it into the ground, I've been talking with a bunch of friends that fly pretty routinely, some high performance, high altitude stuff. And uh, before we do all that, I'm gonna go ahead and build myself another minimum diameter rocket. It is going to be another continuation of the JB Weld series for those uh, familiar. A friend of mine told me he's done over Mach 4 with just JB Weld fillets. So we're really beating a dead horse at this point. JB Weld is JB Weld. We all know that it's good, but I'm gonna pretend I don't and we're gonna make another video just cause it's gonna be fun. We're gonna do M1675 minimum diameter. It's not gonna be that hardcore, but we should be pushing similar speeds, if not a bit more briefly than we'll see with the N1000. The N1000 of course, downside with the long burn is that Ras Arrow showing is staying above Mach 2 for quite some time. So we're gonna like make sure we got some build skills refined and down pat before we adventure into that thing. And of course the build skills weren't too bad. If you remember my K455 did just fine on the up part, but we're really spending some time refining with this three inch project is the down part, the down part where the parachute comes out and I don't put a whole bunch of really expensive electronics in the ground again. And that's what's gonna happen. The parachute's gonna come out and I'm not gonna put a bunch of really expensive electronics in the ground again. Postar is giving me a look like he's suspicious of that plan, but. I think it's gonna work. All right, you heard it. Um, yeah. Boy, I don't really, really have anything else to say at this point. Let's see what else we got here. That's kind of, I mean, it's, it's so hard to dive into the details without, you know, starting to build the rocket. It's a pretty simple kit. There's not a lot of pieces. There's no centering rings. There's no motor mount. Uh, like I said here, catch that Postar. Some quarter inch Kevlar. We're going to cut this tube down a bit, but we aren't going to cut it down as much as I had initially planned because those of you not familiar with the concept of how air density affects how rockets fly may not know that your rocket will go a lot higher if it starts a lot higher in elevation because the air is a lot thinner. Um, rockets that we simulate at Black Rock starting altitude kind of simulate way, way higher in Alamosa, Colorado 
because of their starting out to what, what is it pop star like 7,000 feet it's yeah, it's way over a mile in starting elevation, a mile and a half, basically. Yeah, so I mean, we have simulations of this rocket. If I cut it down and optimize it as much as I wanted to with some pretty conservative settings in RAS Arrow, we're showing it going like decently into the 60,000 range, which is quite a bit above uh, the waiver at NSL. The NSL waiver is 53? It's 50 something. And that's 50,000 is my cutoff. I don't like to get near waivers. I don't like to flirt with that kind of game. So we're going to cut it down, but not as much, which is also going to simplify the recovery setup and everything. We still haven't quite decided if we're going to keep sort of a standard head end dual deploy thing going here since we will have the room, or if we're gonna go all out, um, everything in the nose. I bought line cutters. I shouldn't say that. Great Western Buildings bought line cutters. And uh, that was the initial plan, but like I said, we've pulled back a little bit, but it's still simulating right around 48,000 feet. So uh, yeah, that's going to be good. That's pretty high. And yes, I know a lot of people always badger me for not having onboard video. There is a camera for this rocket sitting in my bedroom right now. Also purchased by Great Western Buildings. This is going to be a super, super fun project. It's not flying till May, and I'm planning on doing multiple videos throughout the build series. Uh, instead of doing it all at once, I got some feedback from you guys that you prefer that format and that's great because it makes it a lot less work for me to try and keep track of all this footage I'm shooting over the course of a three month build. Nothing too uh, involved with this video, but it is some pretty exciting news. Um, my name is Braden Carlson. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Rocket Vlogs. Uh, we really appreciate everybody who's partaking in the podcast, especially the Patreon supporters who are asking questions every week. And work every week and keeping everything flowing um if you're not listening to the podcast please do please check it out we uh optimize it mostly for audio listeners um there's some instances where seeing the video is kind of imperative to it but for the most part uh it's pretty easy listening you can check it out on itunes apple podcast deezer title i don't know uh, those are music ones for sure wherever you find podcasts iHeartRadio, radio it's on that uh, maybe Luminary, who knows. It's on a bunch of podcast platforms. The chances are the one you listen to, the Anti-Gravity Group podcast, can be found there. It's hosted by me and Taylor and Postart and sometimes Matt. We've had some cool guests on. And we have some cool guests in the can. No, that means recorded. In the queue to be recorded. Um, and if you want to partake, in the questions, I toss it to the Patreon people every single week. Enjoy it patreon.com slash rocket vlogs where the people already know about this. You're seeing this and that's great. I'm happy you're here. But if you want to be in the know, you can join Patreon at patreon.com slash rocket vlogs or you can press the join button right beneath this video on YouTube. Join the YouTube membership. Um, and I'm going to be trying to be more consistent about posting as much stuff as I can for the behind the scenes people who are paying for the privilege. But if you don't feel like sending me money or you can't, you're not in a position to right now, it does not matter. I am just happy that you're here. And the best thing you can do for me is press the like button, tell your friends about the channel. We're gonna build some rockets. It's gonna be a crazy year. Rocket vlogs, 2K24. We're getting it with the bazooka. I'm out of here. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. I'm gone. That's it. The video's over. Peace out. See ya. Goodbye. See if you can hit it. We'll let it, we'll fix it in post. Oh, he's got some other. <laughs> the parachute's gonna be a tough one. Oh, close. See, that thing doesn't like to fly real well. You can ball it up. You do that? Ball it. All right, well, it's your funeral. All right, 0 for 3. On that note, we'll see you next time.